Just a quick reminder, you only have five days left to grab one of the U2's figures. I'm very proud of these, and I would appreciate any support. It's that you can't buy it after this. This is it. It is the final chance. Okay, please grab one. Thank you. Who's ready for story time with Woodhawker, baby? <laughs> All right. Adam Cole does that a lot better. Sorry if that was cringe. Do you guys remember years ago? We're talking half a decade ago. One of the first videos I made that really blew up on the internet was a very cringy video. I struggled to go back and watch it. I don't know why I used to yell so much in my videos. I'm kind of yelling now, but it's because I'm excited. It was about WWE 2K18 on the Switch and how it was the worst Nintendo Switch game. Yeah, what did they do to this thing? And now it might seem a bit biased because I don't know if you know this about me, but uh... I'm a little bit of an AEW fan and I'm not so hot on the WWE, but back then when I made that video, AEW didn't even exist. So I wasn't being biased then, but we're off topic because none of that matters anymore. You don't have to play terrible wrestling games on the Switch because AEW has come to the rescue with Fight Forever. Now this game released a hot couple of weeks ago and I'm a little late to making this video, but don't worry, it's gonna be a good one. I actually have of a couple of AEW wrestlers playing this game with me. Ethan Page and Evil Uno. And also Sean was there, sorry about that. Okay, before we get to the gameplay of Ethan Uno and- Hold on, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, <laughs> what timing? It's it's Adam Cole. Hey man, what's up? Yeah, hey, um, quick question, man. Where was my invite? <laughs> I, <laughs> I wanted to invite you, but I just figured you were busy. <laughs> you do realize that I'm in the game, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, you're actually one of my favorites to play as. I found out yesterday you could do the Panama Sunrise from outside of the ropes to the ground. Wait, wait, you can? Oh my God, that's awesome. Hey, hey, don't try to distract me by telling me how awesome I am. I know already. Just invite me next time, all right? Sure, yeah, no, I, a hundred percent I will. And uh, In fact, you know what? Why don't we stream it some... Okay, he, uh, yeah, he hung up. I can't believe he called me. I mean, and he was so nice. <laughs> oh, what a guy. Anyway, so I want to review this game because I really wanted to while I was making my Zelda review. I appreciate everybody that gave love on that video. I can't believe how long it took, but I hope the work showed. It took two months to make that <laughs> Goliath of a video. I just need a break to talk about something else I love, and that just so happens to be wrestling. I know AEW Fight Forever might look a little rough around the edges compared to the more recent wrestling sim games that WWE produced, but it's an intentional nostalgic style. They opted for a more arcadey style graphics and gameplay. Although they did do their own completely created from the ground up motion capture for this game. And they even had AEW wrestlers help out with that motion capture, including Kenny Omega, who helped make the game alongside Audrey Edwards, as well as Yooks. And if you guys know wrestling games and some of the best wrestling games that we've ever had back in the day, back when they were actually good wrestling games, they were all made by you. On top of that, Kenny Omega isn't just any wrestler. Kenny Omega is fantastic. Kenny has a vested interest in video games. In fact, his signature move is the V-Trigger and his finisher is the One Winged Angel. Yeah, like Sephiroth. And then I mentioned Aubrey Edwards. She is a ref uh, for AEW, but uh, on top of that, she's also the promotions project coordinator. And before AEW, she worked at Fifth Cell Games where she was lead producer on the Scribble North series. Let's just start wrestling. I mean, who's that custom wrestler? That okay, looks, wait, looks familiar to me. <laughs> wait, why didn't you change the name? Why is it custom wrestler? <laughs> oh, skateboard. Oh, are you kidding me? Uh, you can ride the skateboard? Yeah, man. Oh, oh God. Oh, my God. Oh, your, your legs bent in half. No! <laughs> 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 
Come Sting on, always wins. It's, dude, it's Sting. Come on. Wrestling and video games go so hand in hand. It's clear that so many video game fans also love wrestling and vice versa, but so many wrestlers love video games. Evil Uno, who we played the heckin' game with today, is a streamer on Twitch, as well as Adam Cole, Colt Cabana. So as you can imagine, having these video game lovers and wrestlers also working on the game, AEW Fight Forever has so many little details. Like, if your character is the current champion in the game, you can grab your title's belts from around the ring. A lot of the wrestlers recorded actual voice lines. Definitely my favorite, though, is when you taunt as Jeff Hardy. He makes some weird grunting noise that doesn't even sound human. <laughs> Other things, like you have full control over the camera, lighting, pyro. Then there are some wrestlers like Orange Cassidy. He has this unique gimmick where he puts his hands in his pockets and he wrestles like that. And they actually built him a whole extra bonus move set so that you could do that in the game. Oh my God, my collectibles. Do we want to do me and Sean versus you guys? I mean, the, the, the YouTubers versus the wrestlers. I don't care. Are you biting the my foot? foot? My Ethan's a real foot guy. <laughs> That's a classic. Oh, Can we do tag right. moves or no? Yes, yeah. we both have X same time. Yeah. Here's oh, one. No. Oh. Uh, how about this one? What is what happening? The what the oh. heck was that? Whoa, what the? They put this in here. Oh, oh my God. Jeez. Wow. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> no, what is my leg? She's... <laughs> oh, Oh she my god! My <laughs> Stop him! <laughs> <laughs> Just kick him in the back of the head. Uh, Ethan Page! Ethan Page! Uh, you you I'm way. okay with it. There's tons of weapons, and they all feel good to use. You've got glass bottles to break over heads, thumbtacks to suplex opponents onto, even freaking propane tanks that you can just <laughs> in a wrestler faces. And not to mention the skateboards. What is this? Tony or nuts? Who did that? I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. No. Now I can get behind this. Yes, Ow. yes, yes. <laughs> no. no! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, here comes beat em ups. Cool. Why are you so bad? Look at you! You're like eight feet tall. <laughs> I'm 6'2. What's yeah, happening what here? We just like fuck? kissing, we make it out in the middle of the <laughs> ring. Get this man out. No! Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> This game might not have as much content as a WWE game because they've been making those for years and they have a base that they work on. AEW had to build everything from scratch. So it might feel a little more light, which is why so many of these little details are so impressive considering. This game is also totally okay with just embracing the silly. There is a exploding barbed wire match, which is so much fun to play in the game. And at the end of the countdown, the ring is supposed to explode and it looks crazy when it works. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time where it didn't, and it's very funny. <laughs> the campaign is another good example of that. It's a single player campaign, and it's kind of Yakuza-y, where you do a lot of spending your time deciding if you want to work out, or go out, or do a fan signing, or eat something. It's all about balancing your health and your diet. But a lot of the cutscenes and the writing are so delightfully stupid. It leads to a lot of really funny moments. But the campaign is very quick and also very bare bones. It was fun for a while, but I always tend to just stick to playing the exhibition matches. It is also lacking a lot of content in general. There's not that much match variety in what you can do, and you can't even do a four-person ladder match that I assume are coming somewhere down the line. If you look at some of the leaks, there is a battle royale mode plan. You play in a big stadium, and you have 30 wrestlers, and there's even item drops around the world, kind of like in Fortnite. And you you just have to, I guess, be the last wrestler standing. And if you think it's insane that they might add that, this game also has mini games like Mario Party. So I don't think it's stretching too far of the imagination to imagine it might happen. Funny enough, in the matches on Switch, it looks fantastic. I have no issues and the frame rates are crazy good. The Switch handles this game really well. And I think, again, that's part of the nostalgic art style. The only place that it looks bad at all is in the cutscenes for the single player. It doesn't really matter because it's just a cutscene, but you would also think these would be where it looks the best because it's not even an actual match. Why does it look so bad? Even the online! Oh my god! I've played so many online matches and they're all rock solid. Sean and I play for hours at night sometimes and we never have a single issue. I want to stress, it might look like I have some kind of monetary vested interest here. I'm just a really big fan. 
I started watching AEW a couple of years ago and fell in love with it. I've seen every show since. Both Kim and I are such big fans. We started going to wrestling shows whenever they were nearby in town. And just by happenstance, we ended up running across Adam Cole and Ethan Page and Charlie, who works at AEW and is such an insanely nice guy. He gave me this ring apron from an actual show we went to. This turnbuckle that's signed by so many of the wrestlers. He went and got that for me while we were at a show. All right, that was a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for playing. You can find me at twitch.tv slash evil uno. And uh, Ethan, I'm going to guess. In fact, I'm going to tell people where to go. Then. Ethan Page vlog because this man's is at 94,800 subscribers and we need this guy to get a play button. So everybody yeah, go and subscribe to the channel. You can find two videos with me in them as well. And then Sean, they know who you are. Find me on OnlyFans. No, no. <laughs> RGT85, all social medias. Thank you for having me on. Pleasure playing with you gentlemen. It was a great time. Thank you very yeah, much. Dude, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thank you, you guys. I appreciate it. I don't even expect this video to do very well because it's niche and I'm not a wrestling channel, but I'm so passionate about it and I love this company and these people so much that I wanted to. So consider buying the game, not a sponsor. I just really like it. If you like AEW, it's a great wrestling game. If you don't know anything about AEW, it might scratch that wrestling game nostalgia you have from back in the day. Just don't expect it to be everything. It's got a ways to go, but I think it's bones for something that could be incredible and i've already had hours of fun with it myself i love it all right that's it for me oh uh i'll give you one of these adam cole baby okay bye <laughs>